Demar Derozan at 11 and 16. How big was his play? Well, it was big because we put him in a lot of situations where he had to find. He was bringing a crowd with him. He took what the game gave him. Uh, they were trying to get the ball out of his hands, and he did a good job of finding. And it helps when you knock the three ball down. I mean, Pat seemed like he found his his uh, his J, his shot, and it, that really helps your assist total. Another game where the offense stalled a little bit in the first quarter, and then that same group just dominant in the third quarter. Um, that's been a trend all season. Do you have any idea what might be behind that? I don't know. When you figure it out, let me know. We'll we'll be, we'll go in business together. But it's a uh, uh, you know it's a mystery. You can jump up and down before the game, yell, scream, whatever it is. Um, some teams just go through that. This team has been a third quarter team all year. Uh, it's hard to live that way. It makes it hard on yourself, especially against good teams. Uh, but again, we I thought we started to pick it up toward the uh, end of the second quarter as far as our play was concerned. That, and that group was in there. It's not just great halftime adjustments on your part. No. <laughs> I wish I could say that. No, it's not. It's those guys getting into it and following the game plan and, and just playing with force on both ends. That's the main thing. I think a lot of times guys try to you know, feel the game out and, and uh, not go in and, and just put your stamp on it at the beginning of the game. And uh, that's, what we, that's our next step is to go in and put our foot down and put our stamp on the game uh, when the jump ball goes up. It's another solid night for uh, Jonas. What do you think has been the driving force for him so far this season? Well, you know, maturity. Uh, I think that's the main thing. You know, Jonas is growing up. Um, you know, I've, I've been preaching that now since he's been here. It's just going to take time. Uh, everybody wanted him to be this uh, superstar when he first walked into the United States, and that's hard to do in this league. And, uh, you know, we could have, you know, I thought, I think we've brought him along the right way. Uh, but again, there's nothing, not a better teacher than the father time. And, um, and that's what he's going through. He's learning situations. The game has slowed down for him, and I think that's the most important thing. Uh, things are not as hectic when he catches the ball or when the uh, pick and roll defense is happening. It, you know, he kind of keeps everything in front of him. He's done an excellent job with his pick and roll defense, and that was his biggest bugaboo uh, in the past. Less hesitation when he catches the ball on the block. Well, a little less, and again, the game has slowed down for him. Before he's kind of, uh, you know, frenetic a little bit when he catches it. Now the game is slow. He's seeing things. He's seeing uh, cutters around him. Uh, he sees what he not only sees the guy guarding him, but he sees the help now, and that's helped him tremendously.